So guys, in the exam, if they ask you psoriasis, no, then explain this. You will get a lot of marks. This is the histology. You can see the changes in the skin. What is normal skin? You can see here you have the, uh, here you have the epidermis, correct? And from to here to here, you have the dermis. In the epidermis, you have so many layers. We will focus only on this one. This is the keratin layer and this is the, the other layers uh, in the epidermis. Now, what you are seeing here, there is hyper uh, proliferation. Keratinocytes are hyper proliferating. There is abnormal differentiation. There is retention of nuclei. So, here you can see nuclei, right? So, there is nuclei retention in the keratin layer. So, because there is excess proliferation of these keratinocytes. They are just dividing, dividing too many, right? And uh, so, now what is happening? Uh, the lot of keratinocytes and then these keratinocytes are uh, retaining um, uh, nuclei, right? In the stratum corneum. Um, okay. Then what else are you seeing here? Can you see here this layer between the epidermis and the dermis? What happened to the layer between the epidermis and the dermis? See this one. The layer between the epidermis and the dermis. See how it has become? Like this. So what are you seeing here? And under that you can look at the blood vessels, how they have become. The vascular changes are there. They have become so tortuous, the vessels, right? And then you can see a lot of mediators in the dermis. You can see what have they marked these mediators are? Lymphocyte infiltrate. Can you see here all these dots inside the dermis? They have put it as lymphocyte infiltrate. So, okay, that uh, you can see. Then what else are you seeing here? There are some micro abscess below this uh, uh, keratin layer. So, what is this micro abscess? So, uh, there is inflammation and lot of uh, markers of inflammation in, in lymphocytes, cytokines, interleukins, tumor necrosis factor, alpha, IFN, gamma intercellular adhesion molecules, VEGF, all this will be there in psoriasis. Okay, so this is the histology of psoriasis. So, uh, if you want, you can uh, draw the histology to explain this condition of uh, scaling. So, uh, under psoriasis, you have many types. You have the plaque psoriasis. This is the most common one. And in that, you will have some nail changes also like pitting, oncolysis, etc. Onyco, onycolysis. And then you have this guttate psoriasis. And here, they have shown a erythrodermic psoriasis. How will you treat psoriasis? So you will diagnose, then you will give some emollients, vitamin D, topical vitamin D analogs, then retinoids, some standard names that we know that we will write. Then glucocorticoids, you can add if you want. Then now a narrow band UVB, that is ultraviolet light B with PUVA that is solar and plus UVA right then uh, what's if this and all uh, doesn't work inpatient admission for phototherapy PUVA systemic treatment and systemic agents what will you give methotrexate cyclosporin all these are immunosuppressors right then fumaric acid esterates you can consider and then uh, for resistant diseases you can give infliximab Itanercept, this is all like rheumatoid arthritis drug, same immunosuppressants only all these are, right? This is the general management approach for psoriasis. So in this video, you have looked at the psoriasis histology. Basically, in this, there will be uh, a lot of uh, hyperproliferation of these keratinocytes, right? And uh, there will be parakeratosis, hyperkeratosis, there will be nucleus uh, here in the keratin layer. And you can see how the vessels have become so tortuous, right? So when basically you uh, uh, scale, remove, try to remove the scales, there will be ble bleeding spots because of these, right? So that is called as auspitz sign, okay? And uh, this is, um, what is auspitz sign? Uh, when you uh, scrape the surface, you will see bleeding points. That's auspitz sign. So that you can understand by this histology, right? So you can uh, see that the epidermis has become irregular, and the vessels have become tortuous, the keratin layer has a nuclei. This is all because of hyperproliferation of the keratinocytes. There is lymphocyte infiltration, inflammatory markers, etc. The types of psoriasis, you have seen plaque psoriasis, this is very common. And then you have, in that you have nail pitting and also onycholysis. That is nail, uh, you can see how the nail condition is. Then you have guttate psoriasis and then you have erythrodermic psoriasis. This guttate, they are saying it could be after the um, uh, streptococcal infection. And uh, in this, the lesions are drops shaped, small, erythematous, uh, scaly and numerous. Okay. And then uh, you have this erythrodermic psoriasis. It's a medical emergency. This one. A generalized erythrodermic psoriasis could be a medical emergency. This one, guttate is post strep. Okay. 
then how to treat we told you um, you have to remove the trigger which caused it and then you can emollients uh, retinoids vitamin d glucocorticoids um, then you can uh, try next step as uvb light uh, so lens with uh, uva then you can consider systemic treatment with methotrexate cyclosporin etc then fumaric acid esterase right and then finally uh, infliximab etanercept etc this treatment is very similar to rheumatoid arthritis right infliximab methotrexate etc